Those look very tasty. I, I will steal two. I will steal two of these. I take one. I take one. Okay, one. Like my secretary told you, I'm busy. No, I obviously I see you're very, very busy. But I have come a long way to find you, Roger East. Disappointed? Huh. My name is Jose Ramos Horta. Roger East, played by Anthony LaPaglia, was a kind of veteran war correspondent. He was a very experienced journalist. And the young Jose Ramos Horta, who at the time was 26 years old and would one day go on to win the Nobel Prize and become the president of his country, came and found Roger East and said, come to our country and tell the story of what is happening here and also find out what's happened to your comrades, your, your fellow journalists who three weeks before had disappeared. All over the world there are people who knew Roger East. He left his mark wherever he went. He was more or less the completely forgotten six journalist of the whole Balbo incident. Roger East had, you know, he'd covered incredible things in his life. He'd been in South Africa where he'd covered apartheid. He'd been in um, America, he'd covered the civil rights movement. He'd run an English language paper under Franco. Yeah. You look at all of his writings and all of his work, he cared for countries and individuals that were re repressed, you know, oppressed. He, he wasn't like, um, you know, a, a superhero at all. He was a very flawed human being. And so really Anthony was trying to kind of comprehend what it must have been like for this man to be given another chance another chance to roll the dice in his life. There was trepidation on his part, and there was uncertainty on his part, and he felt that he was too old in some ways to go out there and do that. He'd done it already. But something in him just wouldn't, wouldn't lay down. Well, I'm glad to see the ABC is taking good care of you since your return. I met Roger in Darwin. Okay. He came to my hotel after I came out of Timor. Mm -hmm. He came to the travel lodge and said, you know, I'm Roger East. And um, I didn't know who he was. Okay. And frankly, no one knew who he was. He wasn't mm. like a well-known journalist mm. in our world. You know? mm. And um, well, I've told everyone today about the story, but so we spent half an hour. He said, I just want to, I'm going to East Timor. I'm a journalist. I said, mm. oh, why are you going to East Timor? I've just got out and the whole thing's collapsing. You know, he mm. said, well, I'm going to set up a news agency. Are you insane? He knew that, that this is, he knew that he'd meet his end that way somehow, he just didn't know when or where. Oscar Isaacs is playing Horta, he's doing an amazing job. So what do you think, good looking enough? Yeah, very good looking. Yeah? <laughs> very good looking? Good. That's what I think saying so. before. No? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jose Ramosota was born in Dili, East Timor. His father was Portuguese, his mother East Timorese. And very early on, he had a kind of anti-authoritarian bent. He was exiled by the Portuguese to Mozambique in 1970, where he spent two years. And it was there that the politics that drove his quest for independence really formed. When he returned from Mozambique, he became part of the Fretland government's push for independence. He travelled to Australia, he travelled to Indonesia. They appointed him as their foreign spokesperson in these countries. And so it was inevitable, just before December the 7th, 1975, that Fretland, from all of the members of their government, would choose Ramos Horta to send to the United Nations to argue their case for independence. You know, I just had to go by the script and by video and listening to his voice and, you know, it's kind of an amalgamation of, of what he may have actually been like and what the purposes of our story, you know, what he needs to be and also the symbol of what he represents. I don't think anybody's tried harder to bring attention to genocide that was going on in their country as it was happening as he did and get nowhere. He was very much about liberating East Timor, not only from the past Portuguese, but also from the onslaught of the Indonesians. And he pretty much went to every and any length to have that happen. The incredible thing about the story of Jose Ramos Horta is that in 1975 he was 26 years old and already championing independence of his country 
and representing East Timor at the UN. He was the youngest person to address the Security Council in December 1975 and argued successfully for the United Nations to allow East Timor to be a nation in exile at the UN. So Roger East, of course, now is the sixth journalist, the sixth Australian who was murdered uh, on the wharf in Delhi you know, on December the 8th in 1975. There are also so many kind of unanswered questions as to, you know, why, why he didn't get out in time. Uh, now, Roger East was on a list that was supplied by the Australian government to the Indonesian government of a person to be protected. Prior to that moment, he had been hunted by the Indonesians. They kept saying on the Indonesian radio that there was a six journalist and they were going to kill him. He was supposed to go up to the hills to avoid being captured by the Indonesians, but he was still right in Dili. Ramos Water actually said to me that although the Balabo Five's deaths have troubled him, the death of Roger East has weighed more heavily because it was there in Darwin that he invited Roger East to come up and run the East Timor News Agency. Ramos Horda knew that he needed journalists in East Timor and that by stirring that spirit again in Roger East, he was encouraging him to come to that country and eventually to put himself in a situation where he lost his life.